How's it going guys, it's Josh here back with another video. Now I've got something awesome to show you today, it's a Bluetooth keyboard that will fit in your pocket. It's very portable, very affordable and before I start the video I will just tell you that I've managed to hook you guys up with a discount code for this keyboard. Just use code TECHJOSH for 20% off, more details in the description. So without further ado, let's get on with the review. So this keyboard is called the Daffodil WKB10, it was sent to me by August International and going by the Amazon reviews it looks like quite a popular product and I can see why, literally every part of this product has a use, I'll explain the features a little more in detail later but taken out of the box you'll see we have this little rectangular package and beneath that the micro USB charging cable. We also have the usual instruction manual included in the box. So this little rectangular box is in fact a case for the keyboard. It blew me away just how small it is. It's only about 15 centimeters long and 10 centimeters wide. Plenty small enough to fit in a pocket or bag. It almost looks like some sort of diary. It's quite difficult to tell what it is if you didn't already know. The case is a nice material. It's basically faux leather and it has this little flap that contains a magnet to hold the case shut. If we lift it up and open the case, we find the actual keyboard, although it feels more like we're unpacking a Nintendo DS. Now as I mentioned everything here has a use, for example this case is also a stand for your phone or tablet and it works very well. It folds back on itself and some strong magnets hold it in place. This will be ideal if you were typing at a table or desk, it even has some rubber feet at the bottom to stop your device from slipping. Let's take a look at the keyboard now. So to use the keyboard you simply unfold these two wings, there's no latch or anything they're just on springs, opening it also turns the keyboard on while closing it turns it off to save energy. It's a fantastic design and I like the mechanism. When it is open you can barely see the joins, they're pretty seamless although obviously we have these hinges present. The only thing I would maybe have hoped for is some sort of locking mechanism for when the keyboard is open because if you try to use this thing on your lap it's not really going to work as the pressure from typing will make it close up since it's on an uneven surface. On the table it's perfectly fine and feels stable. So the size of the keyboard itself is 25 by 9 centimeters, and the thickness is about 5 millimeters. It's a pretty ideal size, it's small enough to be ultra portable, but not too small that you can't type on it fast. Obviously some of the keys are miniaturized like the tab and caps lock along with the thinner top row, but the main keys are all a very good size and for a portable keyboard it's extremely nice to type on. To charge it you simply connect the included USB cable to the micro USB port on the rear of the keyboard and wait until the red charging indicator turns off. This takes around 2 hours. The battery life on this thing is pretty insane, it's stated to be 80 hours and while I've not used it for that length of time, I can believe that figure, a lot of Bluetooth devices nowadays just seem to have ridiculously long battery life. Talking of the Bluetooth, let me show you how to connect it. So once it's open, hold FN and click the C key with the Bluetooth label on it. The LED indicator will then flash blue and then you'll be able to connect to it from your device, it shows up as WKB10. I had no problems connecting and also no dropouts in the whole time I've been testing it which is good. It's Bluetooth 3.0 which means it's a fast connection and I've not noticed any lag whatsoever when using it with any devices. Now it has actually got different system configurations for different devices depending on what you're using it with. If you're using it with Android you'll press FN and the Q key, if it's Windows it will be the W key etc. This essentially just changes what certain function buttons do, for example if it's set to Windows, FN plus 4 will be F4, whereas when it's on the Android setting, FN plus 4 will be paste, you get the idea. They're all listed in the instructions should you need to know the rest and the instruction booklet itself has been written very clearly and in proper English. And there we have it, I really don't have many complaints about this keyboard, it's extremely well designed and I love the fact the case is also a stand. You can pretty much fit it in any pocket, take it with you when you're on the go. If you are the sort of person that does a lot of emails on your iPad or tablet, it's fantastic. If you do want to pick it up, as I mentioned earlier, I have got a 20% off code for you guys in the description. I hope you all have a good week and I'll catch you all in the next one.